I'm on a residential roof in Reading, Connecticut. This is a, um, a gravel roof and they have some leaks. Now, very seldom do I still get to fix these gravel roofs. Um, so I'm going to walk you through a few tips so you understand what to look for. Now, a gravel roof, I will not repair it if there were blisters on it. Now, a blister is something, it, it bubbles up. Uh, you will see this heaves up and it, it, it's a, this, this air underneath the, the bubble. I don't see any blisters on this roof. No blisters at all. So, I feel this roof is in fairly good condition. There's no blisters. I've walked the whole roof. And therefore, I still feel this, I can repair it. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people, what they do is they repair it and they just put tar over the gravel, like in this case. See the tar? And there's stone underneath it. That doesn't work. So there's, there's another problem there. You see it cracks there? So, um... Uh, that's not how you repair it. Anyway, so I'm going to walk you through how I repair things or how I'm going to repair this. There's two ways to do it or few, many ways, but I'm going to show you my technique. Okay, let me get started. First of all, I've got a propane tank with a torch and I've got a flat a trowel, a spade, I think you call it a spade, shovel. Okay. I'm going to heat this up and remove things and try to clean, but there's water on this roof, so i got to get the water off. That's going to be another problem. I've got to dry this area up. All right, let me get started. Okay. So. All right, I get to, I want to remove the stone. I gotta clean it off. Okay. After we battled the water, we got the water all away from this corner. And now I'm going to show you what I do here to get this so I can fix this. So we got some gravel off. You can see this is the old built up roof. But now I'm going to remove the, uh, the rest of the gravel in that corner. Okay, that's another scoop. Yeah. Leaking, you can see it's wet. Wet there, look. Check the water. Yeah, wet there. So it's leaking here. So I'm gonna remove this tar and this go mesh. All right, there we go. Okay. So that's fairly clean now. So now. On this gravel roof where it's leaking, I've cleaned this area. I've removed all the tar that people put on top and and also the transition that the previous roofer that from the built-up roof to the um, to the copper flashing. He used this type of uh, 
cotton saturated uh, material and that's what they normally use and they make the transition with that cotton stuff let me show you see it's like a cotton gauze now I don't like that stuff but you can see it cracked everywhere is a crack here and that's where it's leaking but not only the crack look the nails corroded away see the cr the nail no more nail there no more nail there no no more nail there so all the nails corroded away because of the leakage and water sitting there so you see the rust there look see okay so you get the idea so I'm now gonna repair this and I'm, I'm using a special product which I think is by far better than uh, the tar and um, I've been using it for many years now and it's a secret but uh, it's no more secret anymore because you're gonna know about it but let me tell you the, the biggest secret of a repair the biggest secret is preparation let me say it again on camera the biggest secret is preparation you know how many people don't prepare they just want to put tar on top of everything that's not preparation that's hacking come on prepare get behind the problem take away the tar make sure everything is clean okay got that I hope you got you got that idea okay so now here's my next step I use uh, turbo this stuff this is unbelievable stuff so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, just want to get it smooth enough so I'm gonna put my turbo poly seal all the way here all right so here's what I do let me show you what I do I paint I paint this turbo poly seal right there oops I don't like that a little bit there okay that's it that's what I do I paint this all the way there this makes a transition so good but this is not how it works I'm gonna show you cut, cut it in half yeah you got it cut it in half did you cut it in half mm -hmm. okay so I use turbo poly seal for any transition from metal um, it's a uh, what you call it it's a polyurethane product with a poly fleece it works unbelievable okay so now I got that done so what I do is I put a piece of fleece right on top of that see this is not cotton cotton will crack this is a uh, um, polyester polyester is much stronger right to that corner push it into the corner there right there I paint another coat over that see and that will never ever leak again this stuff is so good this stuff is unbelievable good okay it's it stays pliable but it's very strong as well and it can stick to metal to tar to anything unbelievable look at that the preparation was more work than doing than fixing anybody can fix this if you want you can know what the problem is okay there's this piece of rock there just want to get it out there you go all right I got this section done okay
that's it. <sighs> I am. So this is this is how you repair a leak on a built-up roof with gravel, like all the gravel you see. Okay. Please subscribe. Please help me. This is not a common repair. I don't do this every day and I wanted to show you this at least once in a two or three years I get a repair on a gravel roof. So now you know how I do it.